what's up youtubers it's me again brian aka gamer55551 and i am back with a video game review and for this week we're going to be taking for this video i mean we're going to be taking a look at splatoon 2 for the nintendo switch the sequel to the 2015 splatoon originally released on the wii i mean wii u though um, Splatoon was an interesting game when it came out back in 2015. Um, it was sort of an interesting and different take on the whole multiplayer shooter genre where the whole idea, instead of taking out a, your, oppo your opponent's team, although you could, st you could do that in Splatoon and kind of slow them down a little bit, the purpose of it is to cover as much territory with your team's ink as possible. So it made for an interesting and a fresh, different take on the idea of... Uh, of the whole multiplayer shooter though and despite being released on the Wii being released on the Wii U which by that point it was sort of going downhill after it was clear that the Wii U was not going to be a success the game did pretty well I mean from what I understand it sold over sold about 1 million copies sold and it did definitely got some high marks though for some people so it may have not officially saved a Wii U, but it would offer something new and something different, even if it, I didn't feel it take as, took as much advantage of the gamepad as it originally did, though. That said, though, so it was announced that there were thoughts that many people suspected that the Splatoon game that was going to be brought to the Switch was maybe a port of the first one, but surprisingly, when they showed the Switch presentation off in January, it turned out to be a sequel which is a bit surprising and yet here we are in in july near the end of july though and splatoon 2 is out and it's certainly doing well so what my what are my thoughts about it well i certainly like it and certainly enjoy it even if there's one area i do have concern with especially with future switch titles should they ever come to the nintendo switch so why don't we get started with the pros or cons let me get my notes out if i can find them Okay, here we go. So why don't we get started with the pros. Uh, first pro, of course, is the visuals. And I have to say, like the first one, graphically speaking, the game looks good. Um, I like the art style. Um, it runs um, at a smooth, I think, when, especially when docked or in console mode, it runs at a good 1080p, uh, drops to 720p when basically um in in you know um, portable slash um tablet mode um it also yeah yeah it and it runs at a good 60 frames per second at least based on my time with it single player runs fine and even in multiplayer it runs perfectly perfectly fine right there one little concern about that one is that at some reason when you're in the game hub though the intropolis it runs at 30 frames per second but that's but other than that, everything else is everything else. I believe runs at a good 60 frames. But overall, visually speaking, the game does look nice. Uh, the next one, of course, is the sound and the music. Um, as weird as the language that the ink Inklings have, it is still very interesting and to hear that. And the music, I have to say, I really do like it, even though it has sort of a J-pop feel to it. Though I still enjoy a lot of the music in the game. Uh, the next one I will say is that, the, as I mentioned earlier, it's the gameplay. It still feels fresh, uh, no pun intended. Even though this is sequel, I still like the concept and the idea that it's sort of a different approach to the traditional multiplayer games, even though I'm not big on multiplayer games. And even though I don't have anything against those who like online multiplayers or anything like that i like the fact that this is sort of a different take it's its own different kind of a game so the whole concept the whole cover your territory cover as much territory as you possible with your team's ink though it's still a very interesting very interesting and neat idea for a mo online multiplayer game and finally last but not least is i will say the single player and multiplayer modes are fun i mean Outside of the PvP, which is player versus player, you got a campaign mode, which is which is actually pretty fun. I like the idea. It's a mixture of a shooter to some degree with a little bit of platforming. Um, they did change it up a little bit this time around. I think now you'll get different weapons and all for each level, in, in each level rather than I think sticking with just one weapon or anything like that, like it was in the first one. And... I will say this, my the multiplayer, multiplayer mode that I like the most in this game is the Salmon one, which is a 
four-player co-op where you and your team work together to collect these salmon eggs from these like salmon enemies and everything else and drop them off at a certain spot. So it's sort of like a horde mode and so on. But to me, it's one of my favorite modes in Splatoon 2. <clears throat> okay, um, we're going to take a little bit of a break. When, get, when we get back, um, I will give you two of my cons that I have for this game and a concern I have going forward with future titles that for the Nintendo Switch that I have with the way Splatoon with what I felt about with what I experienced with Splatoon 2 though um, it's not a huge negative but it is somewhat of a concern I do have at least for me though so we'll take a little bit of a break and we will be right back Okay, and we are back with part two of our review of Splatoon 2 for the Nintendo Switch. Now that I gave you the pros, or at least the pros I thought were great about the game, why don't I give you the cons now? And there are really only two cons I could think of for the Splatoon 2. So why don't I get my notes out again? There we go. And my two concerns, my two cons I have with the game is that Certain areas of the game are kind of locked out until you reach a certain level in um, in sort of the P player versus player, you know, multiplayer mode. Um, single player mode is not gated out or anything like that, but until you reach level four in multiplayer mode, everything else you pretty much cannot access. At least this is based off of my playtime with it. And that would be basically any of the weapons, gears, or even the salmon run itself, um, once you reach, until you reach level four, you can't really get anything else. So, unfortunately, you're gonna have to sort of play a whole bunch of multiplayer matches until you reach the point of getting to level four. Once you do that, everything else will open up, but I do think it is a little annoying, at least from my perspective though. A little annoying, however, that certain things are gated out until you reach level four in multiplayer mode though. And finally, last but not least, and again, I can only base this off of my experience with the game, but unless you're in an area with Wi-Fi or anything like that, um, outside of the single player mode in the game, or if you have other switches with you, um, the other modes you cannot use whatsoever. So that means you can't use multiplayer or the salmon mode if there is like no Wi-Fi area whatsoever. Um, single player is available right there. You can still use that, but you can't use the other modes. So like, for example, if you're playing this in the car and you're driving and you want to play, you know, if you want to do like the multiplayer mode or the salmon run mode, there's no single player option or there's no option where you could play the multiplayer mode against the AI computer or anything like that or anything like that though which is a little bit unfortunate because it that makes it feel like that you only have only one part parts of the game you don't have the full entire full game right there so it is a little annoying that unless you're in a Wi-Fi area you can't use any of the other modes outside of single player mode to basically play so that is sort of is a little bit to me a disadvantage and unfortunately it is annoying though overall um splatoon 2 is still a fun game nevertheless though um the i love the art style i love the music in the game um the gameplay is solid especially the single player with the mixer of the shooting and the plat platform elephant platform element I, I think i may have said elephant by mistake my bad um and basically of course let me get this out of the way and of course the multiplayer mode even though i'm not a big multiplayer person it's still fun the player versus player to the all new salmon run which is my personal favorite so if you enjoyed the first one i think you will enjoy the sequel splatoon 2 i think it's an improvement over the first one in some areas and i would say it's definitely a recommendation providing you're okay with some of the cons that i had, had issue with though but overall a good game indeed and it's worth checking out for the nintendo switch uh, before I end this video, I want to talk to you about a bit of a concern I have with a little bit of a concern I have with playing with Splatoon 2, and that involves one of the cons that I mentioned earlier. Now, I said about how unless you're in a Wi-Fi area that you won't be able to access all the features or anything like that. Now, many would argue and say, well, of course, this is an online game, and that's true, that's true, but 
my counter argument would be if you look at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe when that came out back in back in April though pretty much all the modes were available. I mean like battle mode you could play that on single player against the AI computer. I mean it may not be the same as playing against other players online, but you could still play that mode right off the bat. The fact that only the single player mode is only available and every other all the other modes are not when you're not in an area with a Wi-Fi or you're not hooked up online or anything like that does kind of bother me a little bit because it does raise concern about to me it raises concerns about certain titles should they ever come to the switch like let's say for argument's sake say overwatch were to come to the switch now i got no issue with overwatch coming to the nintendo switch or everything or anything like that i got nothing against the game my big concern is should overwatch ever come to the nintendo switch due to the fact that that's an always online game that could be a problem bringing to the Switch, mostly because the Switch is sort of advertised as this is a console you could bring with you on the go, or a portable console if you want to look at it that way. And since that that's an always online game, that could be a problem where you won't be able to play it if you're like on a plane, unless the plane has Wi-Fi and you want to use the Wi-Fi off the plane, which from what I understand can be very expensive to do, um, or if you're driving the car or anything like that. So unless you have someone else who has a switch and you can like play like you know you know locally against each other it's just it, it just this is just one of my issues i have with the idea and it's one of my issues with it and i just i'm not a big fan of the idea of always online i mean the idea of that you can't play a game unless you have internet access i'm not really a big fan of that i'm not against having you know getting updates online or anything like that or you know online matches or anything like that but i don't like the idea where unless you have a unless you unless you have a solid internet connection you can't play the game literally and that is playing splatoon seeing that part is what kind of concerns me the most about if should certain games like Overwatch ever come to the Nintendo Switch, an always online type of a game. So I'm a little bit concerned about those kind of games based on the way based on the way I had with Splatoon. Plus, there were some internet connection issues I had with it, and there are certain modes, and which basically means I couldn't play any of the the other modes, which is somewhat of which course was a disappointment then again i had a power outage but it brings up the whole point of why i'm not big on the whole always online or anything like that it's why i always feel that it's like with mario kart 8 like i said i could still play that offline pretty much play almost all the modes in the game not all of them but pretty much all of them such as the grand prix or battle mode offline even in single player where a game like splatoon the campaign mode's the only mode you could play if you're offline, and where if a game like Overwatch were to ever come to the Nintendo Switch, since that's an always online game, if the internet's down, whether it's on their side or your side, you won't be able to play the game. So it's my big concern I have with certain games, especially those with always online coming to the Nintendo Switch. Again, I'm not against that. I'm not against these games coming to the Switch or anything like that it's just that's my big concern i have for it <clears throat> okay um this concludes this video review of splatoon 2 for the nintendo switch and again these are my opinion but what are yours um are you enjoying the game are you not enjoying the game have you picked it up um what mode have you focused on mostly have you focused on the single player mode have you focused on just the p pvp you know the regular multiplayer mode or any of the other multiplayer modes um or the salmon mode which is my personal favorite um and what about do you think they was right to basically unless you reach level four in p pvp you can't access anything else or they, they like the salmon mode or the gears or the weapons you think that's all right do you think that's not all right um, do you agree with my concern about games like Splatoon 2 to other games maybe like Overwatch about those type of games coming to the Switch? Do you think I'm right to be concerned? Do you think I'm not right? Do you think I'm overblowing it or anything like, like that? Um, do you agree with my review? Do you disagree with my review? Do you have a different take 
on what I said. Um, as always, sound off on the comments section below. Let me know what you think. And I hope you hit that like button as well. And I also hope you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, feel free to share this video if you want to. And if you wish to donate to my channel, you could do that either through PayPal me or through Pat or Patreon. Links will be in the description of this video. Um, it's evening in Southern California, so I'll be getting myself ready for bed soon. And I will see you again next time when I do another video. Hopefully that will be soon. Until then, from Southern California, I wish you all a, a good evening then. Bye.